stay down. You can't tell me nothing, I stay down for that coma. You can't tell me nothing, I stay down. You can't tell me. Uh huh. TMTV, ten thousand hours, ten years. It's all lined up. You know what I mean? We masters of our shit. We put in the time. You know what I mean? We're exhibiting the culture stories. You know what I mean? We're it, it, we're we're music discovery now. We're making sure you know about the best of the best of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, my name is Noble Yo, creator of Museum TV. We are bosses from Air Vlog, like I just said. I am a tent and business owner. If you need your car tinted, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. You know what I mean? We are we are in my in my embroidery office right now as well. So if you need any embroidery work. Holla at your boy, you know what I'm saying? We're taking care of ours and we're growing, you know what I'm saying? I just finished paying off my embroidery machine, our strength of the culture, the culture salute, you know what I'm saying? This is real community building on this side, you know what I mean? But I'm very passionate about telling y'all about the best stories around me because on some real shit, I want to be around the best stories so I continue to see, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, just the best sides of this culture because when I was coming up, all niggas was talking about was all this hater shit, you know what I mean? But this story right here is one of the most genuine stories that I've come across. You know what I mean? I didn't know bro from a hole in the wall, but he's always shown love and he's always going hard for his shit. And I've watched his, honestly, his his career, his movement just blossom in a very just dope way. Um, I've watched people gravitate towards it. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to have bro come on and tell his story because I'm definitely, definitely proud of bro's movement right now, man. I ain't going to hold you. And I'm going to always, always co-sign heavily everybody that's on this couch, man. I got my guy. Marky Picasso, or just Casso for short, you know what I'm saying, in the museum with me. What's the word with it, baby? Hey now, What's the hey word now, with it, baby? Hey What's the hey word now, with it, baby? Hey Mr. Hey now. We outside. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Hey, hey now. now. Yo, bro, move down, bro. Wait, this way? Yeah, yeah, bro. This bro, way? You close to a nigga, man. Let's go. Fuck with my boy, no diddy. I'm fuck with you. I'm fuck with you. I'm fuck with you. Definitely no diddy, bro. Not What's the word? <laughs> but nah, man. Um, Everything's good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything's good. Um, like you just heard, I just finished paying off the embroidery machine, mm -hmm. bro. So I'm feeling good, bro. As mm -hmm. a creative, um, as a human right now, bro, I'm in a good spot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, I'm 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 able to just continue creating, bro. You know what I'm saying? I like, like that. In terms of my bills, I ain't really necessarily worried about how they're gonna get taken care of. I like that. You understand? I like but, that. You know, it's ten big ten year energy, you know what yes. I'm saying? From scratch, yes. maybe. You yes. know what I'm saying? Hey so, now. Talk to me though, man. We got New project coming. Yup, yup, yup. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. You, you, you definitely got a lot of behind the scenes shit happening too, I know of. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, so talk to the people, bro. New project, June. Um, What can we expect? What's the name of the project? What we on? Shit, so as you already said, my name is Caso, Marky Picasso on Instagram. Um, yeah, man, I'm really excited. I uh, I got a project coming out June 19th. Uh, thanks for nothing. That's the name of it. Everybody in their life at some point has said thanks for nothing. They were given a lot of energy towards somebody or something and they didn't feel like it was reciprocated towards them or, you know, there's just a lot of times where you can use that term. Um, and I feel like especially out here, we deal with a lot of shit like that. You know what I mean? Just as a people, as a culture, you know, obviously you mentioned it's grown a lot. So before it was on some hater shit, like you said. Mm. Um, and we've grown a lot as a people. And it feels like just the right time to do this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really know how to explain it other than that. It just felt like right, right now. Um, I just dropped... Um, $10,000 Yeah, 10000 hours with my yep. guy Gio. Shout out my dog um, Gio, man. Shout out to Gio D. We just had the listening drop. party. Yeah, you know very I mean? dope. Very dope. He's dropping on June 12th. His yep. project, I'm on there, on uh, like track number three or four, Respect My Body. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Me and him share the same birthday, which is crazy. That's fine. Yeah, we've that. known each other for years, and like That's we fine. just found out last year. Well, uh, March, like March 12th or something? March, March 8th. 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 March 8th. 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 Yeah, I know which is on. crazy, bro. Like, I'd known him for years, and he, we never knew that. <laughs> so, that is a little crazy. Yeah, kind of crazy. The way Gio is. Um, yeah, word. But yeah, I'm excited, bro. A lot of really good things. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Nah, that's fire. So, all right. So we shooting videos in strip clubs and shit like that. Yep, yep, you know yep, what I'm saying? yep, yep. I know you got to dip. I know you got to dip after this to go to that strip yes, club. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, which video is this? So it's for a song on the project called B Day. It's gonna B Day. Be, yeah, it's gonna okay. be one of the big ones. Uh, yeah. I'm excited for this one a lot. Nigga making a birthday. Anthem. Yeah, bro. I'm really excited for this. Um, we got a lot of scenes in Atlanta already. Um, shout out to my guy Akachi. Shout out to Bink. 
Um, shout out to everybody in Atlanta that I fuck with. DJ Plug, Bobby Critical. Shout out Plug, man. Uh, shout yeah, out Bobby Critical. Shout, Crit- for real, shout man. out them. Um, shout out to my guy Jimmy. Obviously, he's Jimmy. I met him through through uh, through Noble. Look, Jim only Bellini. the first survive, man. For yeah, real. Yeah, facts. Like, that part. Only the first survive. OTFS. Feel me. But um, nah, I mean, yeah. yo, bro. Uh, what I wanted to ask though, you already got into it. Um, but I wanted to talk to you, bro, about how content creation, bro, has become so important for artists, bro, because I feel like you do a good job at it. And I hear a lot of artists um, honestly be upset, you know what I'm saying, about having to do that. Like, oh, mm-hmm. fuck, like, why is this, you know what I'm saying? But the game is the game, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, maybe for those that might feel like, you know, that shit is, you know, something that they don't necessarily want to do, what has been some positive, um, you know, yields of strength of you just being okay with letting people into your life you have the bum knee nigga you, you, you're still out of fucking show you know My what time. I'm like nah you know what i'm saying so 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 talk to me though like what what uh what positives have have you seen from that granted a lot of people feel like damn they don't want to do this shit yeah i mean bro the biggest thing that i've learned with this shit is that um hey now hey now <laughs> <laughs> hey now uh Shout out to Nicole, man. <laughs> Shout out Nicole RDS. If yes, you need sir. any visual work, any graphic work, uh, book her studio, the Garage Media. You know what I'm saying? Quick plug in. Hey now, um, yeah, bro. Like I've learned that there's obviously there isn't one way of doing this. You know what I mean? There's been countless stories of people that you know have done it their way. There's no one specific way to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me personally, what always worked. And I feel like we'll always continue to work no matter what is being you yourself. You know what I mean? Like yeah. every, I, it's very cliche, but it, oh shit, you know, uh, it's like one of those things, <laughs> it's like one of those things where, you know, oh nobody can be you better than you. You know what I mean? It's like, you have to embrace that. Like you have to really be true to yourself. Don't be nervous. All the things that you're uncomfortable about are things that people probably well relate to you know what i mean they're probably uncomfortable about themselves for that too head, head uh, of security no, I, I gotta okay. make sure he's good head of security okay okay go ahead though. um so with content in modern day you know whatever this is arts and shit like that there's social media you got to be posting you got to be posting things that people want to watch yeah you know what i mean so it's like you got to have energy about you and if you're able to find a way that works for you that you can put that on the internet and people are going to gravitate towards it great you know what i mean yes, that's bro. that's the best way you have to be able to just don't make it goofy corny don't do what you think people want you to do don't do like don't just like try to follow a trend you know mm-hmm. what i mean like make your own like it might not catch right away but it's going to work that's a fact. like i've been i was doing the lyric videos heavy you know what i mean and shout out to my clark d i mentioned it in do in the dod interview i did i went to atlanta with you and we went with him and we grabbed some brunch the last day that we were there damn that conversation (laughs) yes and so he was like bro he's like your shit is fire he's like i feel like if you that's hard he's like you just gotta post really fire content all the time yeah and he was like it's crazy but like that's what you gotta do yeah and me and d4 shout out to my guy d4 uh d4 the great on uh on all social media um he basically was just like i grew up with him you know what i mean like from Mm -hmm. high school like like Mm -hmm. from that era so we he he always knew that i was making music he believed in my shit and so we really started locking in and yeah, shout out d4 dog yeah no fact. Shout out solid, to d4. solid work out that's my guy dog really, really really stepped into the game crazy yeah really my guy so um we like had a groove going where we were doing we were doing a lyric video and then we would do a photo shoot the day of the lyric video so it, was, it matched the it conceptualized you know what i mean the actual lyric video and we would try to choose locations that were that were unique, you know what I mean? They just try to do something that is different. Like we did one in the subway, I was wearing the Celtics jersey on the green line. You know what I mean? The train was coming by, you know what I mean? Just like trying to color coordinate, do like little unique things, um, things like that. And we would post the photos on Sunday and then we would post the video on Monday. I noticed by doing that, I did that for weeks, like months, you know what I mean? I did that every single Monday. Even when I when I fucked my knee up, we did like four or five weeks of with my knee fucked up and then we just kind of had to fall back for a little bit because I we couldn't, you couldn't. I couldn't keep Nigga, doing you things. Couldn't, yeah, bro. your shit was black and blue. Um, yeah, so, but what I learned doing that, music or just any art, you know what I mean? We have to use social media to, to whatever extent that we can, you know what I mean? It's a tool. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't use it as a tool. They waste a lot of time on it. That's a fuck. Um, so <clears throat> it's up to us to find a way to display our personalities in a way that's unique to us. Uh, because a lot of people 
are trying to be like other people. They're doing what they think other people want them to do. And they're not being very unique to themselves. And all those things that they're uncomfortable about and probably self-conscious about is things that other people are uncomfortable about and self-conscious about. So it's just... You know, Check just reflect, like yeah, reflecting, like just do it. Just, just you know what I mean. All the biggest people that we see are people that are like really. I mean, that granted, they probably reach a point in their life where it becomes unrelatable. But like when it happened at the beginning, you know what I mean. It was very unique. You know what I mean. It was very them. Hundred percent. And it's cliche, but it's like there's nothing more. Uh, nobody can be a better you than you. You know what I mean. 100%. So, um, and, so talk to me about. Um, I mean, you, 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 I know you was in Atlanta, bro, and that, that was like a very. Uh, eye-opening moment for you kind of going hard with the content and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, so Atlanta, me and you actually went uh, to do the New Music Mondays over at Stankonia. Yes, sir. And we linked up with Clark D. Uh, shout out to Clark. Um, and we grabbed some brunch. And he was the one that kind of put it into perspective for me he was kind of like he's like bro your shit is really fucking fire. He's like you just gotta post really fire content all the time. Yeah. And shout out to, to my guy D4 um, we really started locking in. I went to high school with him, and that's when we met. And he just kind of watched my journey musically, and uh, he wanted to get involved. You know what I mean? And we ended up doing all those lyric videos that I was doing for months. I was doing it for months, and then I fucked my knee up, and I still did uh, like a couple weeks of them with that. But like your shit was nasty. Yeah, we couldn't. Black and blue, nigga. Yeah, we couldn't. We couldn't. We took you to going. Atlanta, dog, to do music Mondays all on that bum knee. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's bro. why I got a little, a little yeah. respect for you. Yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Uh, no, it was good shit, bro. It was good to see. Yeah, so he, we, me and D Four kind of just took that that blueprint, and we were just like, we're gonna go do uh, lyric videos. And the same day that we do a lyric video, we're going to do a photo shoot. So that way it's conceptualized. You know what I mean? We did one over um, at the Green Line, um, over at um, by the Garden. And we just went down. I had the Celtics jersey on. We had the train, the trolley train coming by, you know what I mean, with the green on it. You know, it's just like mm -hmm. color coordinated. Just finding unique places to do lyric videos, uh, being different, you know what I mean, just trying to really... Do, do some different shit, you know what I mean? So, uh, so for those people that, you know, be feeling like, damn, this whole uh, content creation shit ain't necessarily, like, for them, or, they, or, like, they feel like they hate having to do it, my nigga. Like, yo, like, I legit watched, you know, when we went to Atlanta, you did New Music Monday, shout out Coalition DJs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout, shout, out yep, shout out to them. You know the vibes. Um, bro, you meet Clark D, and mm -hmm. mind you, I didn't even realize that's... <laughs> No funny shit, I didn't realize that's the conversation niggas was having. Maybe yeah, bro. maybe I, I was there and I remember. I didn't realize, obviously, like, you, you was taking in the information, bro, to be like, I bet I'm about to utilize this. Yeah, facts. But then you went and utilized it, bro, right? Yeah. And then the next time we were in Atlanta, bro, it's because you linking up with my big homie Jimmy. Yep. Because Jimmy randomly seen your shit. Yeah. That D4 from that. shot. From that. Right? Yeah, from so that. So you, 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 you see in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy, bro. It's just like one of those things where it's like we were so we were doing photo shoots on Sunday and then posting on Mondays, the lyric videos. And I noticed over the months and time that we were doing it was that Mondays was the best day for me posting. You know what I mean? Like naturally, if you find a rhythm and a groove and you post, OK, I'm a po I'm going to create like a music Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday, whatever day you want to do. You know what I mean? Just create a thing with it. And then you post every time on that day. You're going to start to see growth over time. You know what I mean? Whether if that's a good day for you to post maybe i should try doing it on another day or whatever but for me personally i learned that monday is the best day for me so, so i ended up just following that i'm not going to go against that a lot of people try to go against like they're trying new things which is cool but it's like don't fight what's working mm. i mean do what works mm. do what works mm. every single one of those hit the explore page every single one i never ran an ad on any of those you know what mm. i mean some of them went you know what I mean? some of them went crazy i gained a bunch of i went hundreds of followers yeah. from doing those in a couple months That's dope. and <clears throat> shout out to jimmy like i ended up linking jimmy through from that trip through you and um shout out to everybody in atlanta that i've been working with shout out to dj plug shout out um to akachi and bink out here um they helped uh facilitate some relationships for me in atlanta also about, um, it's, it's about the love you know what yeah saying? bobby critical shout out to bills over astro studios yeah just shout out to to atlanta man honestly in general hey man my second home you know what i'm saying i know i love y'all you know what I'm saying? Lemon, hey, man. You feel me? Lemon pepper wet. <laughs> no diddy. God damn, bro. You all, yo, bro, you, you shooting a hundred right now, bro. God damn. Um, but alright, so 
Atlanta has definitely been, you know, a, a good piece, bro, to your puzzle, bro. Um, I, I, I think it's dope. Um, you know, we haven't really brought anybody else down to New Music Mondays other than UNC4. You know, we was really trying to try that down. You know, if you are a Massachusetts artist down in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, definitely tap in with New Music Mondays and the Coalition DJs down there. Um, it's a great way to do something similar to what we do in the testing lab in terms of just going to one place where, you know, you got a whole bunch of plugs. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's definitely good shit, bro. Um... I did want to talk to you about like your dealings here in Boston, bro, mm -hmm. um, in Massachusetts overall. Um, you seem to be like an enigma for a lot of people. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Because it's like, I bet, like, you know, hey now, you know, <laughs> who is this white boy around, niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, who brought him around, or right. how long has he been around? You know what I'm right. saying? Like, what's he affiliated with? You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right. Um, how how are you kind of navigating these things, bro? Um, obviously, uh, you know, you're good with, you know. Jizzle and you know, you know, a couple of the people's over there because of you know, mm -hmm. your, your, yeah, your, RP, um, your, your people, you yep. know what I'm saying? Shout out to CJ and, um, and, yep. and Hans, right? Yep, yeah, RP to Hans, RP to CJ, yeah. You feel me? So, um, definitely, you know, rest in peace to the, to the guys, but like, you know, talk to me about you know, having to maneuver around shit like that, especially knowing how you know, dicey Boston politics can get sometimes, bro. Bro, to be honest, um, I'm just me, bro. Like, yeah. I've never been the type of person to like try to be like somebody else you know what i mean it's mm -hmm. like at the end of the day a lot of people i'm not from the city you know what i mean i'm from i'm from weymouth i'm from outside of the city you come with respect bro yeah i will say that so it's like i'm one of the people that i a lot of people always talk about oh people from boston they don't fuck with me because i'm not from boston i'm that like shit. bro it's because you try to be like you're from boston like mm -hmm. i'm from weymouth i tell people i'm from weymouth i don't pretend to be anything else you know what mm -hmm. i mean and I mean, a lot of people know I'd be beating people up. <laughs> <laughs> like, not even that it's, like, on some aggressive shit, but just, like, if I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not the type to... There, it's going to go Yeah, there. you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be a bitch and I'm going to bitch out on some shit. You know what I mean? I'm just me. You know what I mean? I'm just, like, one of those people that's going to be um, me. You know what I mean? I'm never going to be somebody else. I'm not going to let um, any type of area that I'm in or whatever, sure. like change the way of I who think, i am you i know think I mean? over time bro people people got that that vibe you know what I'm saying? yeah I, like I'll, i'm I'll just me bro that, like it's mean? not like it's not like anything that i'm ever gonna walk into a room and change my actions or who i talk i'm loud mm -hmm. i'm gonna be in there like hey now like mm -hmm. being yeah, dumb like you know what i mean like i'm shit. just gonna be that every time you know what i mean you're gonna get the same guy every time not so later. It's just important to do that, you know what I mean? And fuck outside, like, fuck just Boston, like, mm -hmm. that's anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you have to learn to do that because if you're going to do this seriously, like, Boston is a very small portion of what of, we're of trying the whole, to do. Of the whole. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it starts here, and it's important to grow this here, but it's also very important to find out who you are because we are home here. So you got to figure out who, what that is. Because when you're traveling, you want to be able to represent your town, your city, your state, properly and you want to be able to represent yourself and properly act like people ain't gonna go do their homework yeah they got bro. that one exactly. random person bro, exactly that, they know that, they that don't happened call. with um with jimmy and all of them when Nigga, he know. went you know what i mean like Nigga, they called here to you know what i mean so it's like Nigga, I know. like it's like that's how it works you know what i mean it's like you have to you have to make sure that you cross the t's dot the i's you know what i mean don't try to create falsify anything like I'll never lie in any of my raps. I'll never lie on any platform. I'll never lie anywhere because that shit will come back. Bite you in the ass. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you know I'm always going to be this every trip. You know? Now, let me ask you, bro. You know, in light of all this Diddy shit, right? Okay. Because you've been fucking <laughs> up. Where are you up, going with this? You've been fucking up all evening. But, um... <laughs> um yeah. Bro, can you bring that douce over here? I think... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my guy, bro. Shout out, bro. Shout out to Nicole. Shout out to Nicole, too. Look. Nice. If you need any graphic work, video work, picture work, content work, period. You know what I'm saying? Shout Some out to Deuce. Strategies. Deuce. Shout out, Nicole. Reach out to her. Book her studio. Garage Media. You know the vibes. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you can keep pulling me back up, brother. Um, so this is what I was going to ask, bro. We good, we good, we good. Don't get that shit on my couch, B. Hey, no. You know what I'm saying? Nicole worked hard for that hey, shit. Hey, no. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> is it? Um, so this is what I was gonna ask, bro. Um, artists now are seeing all this shit develop, come out. You know what I'm saying? All this weirdo shit that a lot of niggas that we quote unquote at some point in time was respecting, mm -hmm. doing a lot of weirdo shit behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now it's it's tough to for the respect to live, right? Mm -hmm. So as an independent artist, does that make you even more confident in this independent shit, or make you feel like, yo, you know what? 
trying to quote unquote go after cosigns or fucking with labels or the quote unquote top dogs and all this shit might not necessarily be the wave. You know what I'm saying? Like how how are you kind of dissecting all this as as a as an indie artist? Is you know what I mean? Like like everything is a tool. Yeah. Labels are a tool. They're nothing but a tool. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like it's making you realize. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it's they're just a bank with connections. You know what I mean? It's like you can go and get a loan and do that. You might not have all the same connections, but you can find a marketer that's really good and run some ads and do something legit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, that's the big thing with it is a lot of people that I feel like they, especially out here, like, as everybody knows, we never really had like a blueprint like other cities, you know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And we've kind of always been like a trial and error. Yeah. Um, we've always been trying to work it out. And I think modern day, I mean, you don't need a label. You know what I mean? It's nice to have, but like, you don't need one. There's a lot of people that do it without. We've seen the rise of the independent artist story these past 10, 15 years or so, right? But, uh, but, you know, niggas marketed it in a very good way. But for real, for real, bro, the independent story, bro, was low-key necessary. It was low-key sure. mandatory that it was going to happen. For sure. So all this, you know, puff and chest and shit, you know what I'm saying? I personally feel like, you know, it was good in the moment to do. Only off strength, I bet. What else am I honestly going to do? Let me go ahead yeah. and promote this independent story. You know what I mean? Because in all honesty, bro, labels was crumbling. Yeah. Fucking what? A uh, 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 piracy was had 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 the whole industry on their fucking knees. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, dude. There's no facts. You gotta relax. You, know what I'm saying? you were talking shit about me. Now you're talking about the whole you're industry is 10. on their you're knees. Up 100, the whole name. industry. You're up a hundred. Define bro. the whole industry. You're up a hundred. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's right. Moving one. on. Moving on. Um. All right. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> hey now bro can i get a hey now <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> ding um but nah bro so all right so i'm, I'm saying all this to say bro like yo the independence at low-key has to happen my nigga you know yeah what I'm saying? For sure. like for there sure. was low-key no way around it bro it was a lot of like chest puffing my nigga dog but yo this where the game is at right now inevitably was gonna have to happen yeah. the breath's drying up you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like niggas ain't making the same type of bread that they was making. They have to go into other avenues, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I'm going a little hard right now, dog. But end of the day, <laughs> classic noble. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, I just feel like you're very poised, bro, to be able to just continue to take care of this independent grind, bro. Yeah. But I'm really asking, you know, just how much more dialed in are you because of everything that you see, bro? I love you. Gotta love the grind. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like. It's one of those things that you can't you can't give it ninety nine. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta give it a hundred yeah. every day. Yeah. And there's there's an interview with Snoop Dogg that like I really, really love. It's like my favorite my favorite interview. And it kinda has to do with this in a way. But it's basically it's just like he's talking about how he brought the dog pound on tour or whatever and he was giving them the clothes off his back and the chains off his neck and everybody in the crowd wanted Snoop Dogg. They didn't care they didn't about the dog yeah, pound. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that and, was, I remember that interview. Yeah, and he's just talking about how the energy of the person is what matters. You know what I mean? Like some people got it and some people don't and you can't learn That's it. That's the one thing AI ain't gonna be able to Right, you know so saying? there's a connection of some sort between people and the people, you know, yeah. the artist and the people, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's why it's going back to what I was saying about earlier about being yourself and finding your lane and finding your groove because it's not going to happen overnight. It's not. All the times when you see all these people blow up, Boss Man D-Lo is a great example. Yo, his story He's, is so fire. I love... His I, story is fire, I bro. found him, like, really early on, like, unintentionally as, like... It, I don't know how I found it. It was, like, unintentional as fuck, though. Yeah. And um, I was putting people on. I was telling some people about it because I fucked with it. It was funny. It was yeah. weird. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't know. Oh, oh, fun with it. It's just like it's like ridiculous. Nah, you know what I mean? And fun with it. I like that because there's gonna be a bunch of little boss man D-Lo's coming up. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And he's a great example because yeah. I know that dude wasn't rapping. And then it just popped. You know what I mean? Like, he had been rapping. He probably used to rap completely different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And found this. That was him. You know what I mean? So it's like finding what works for you, trial and error, not getting discouraged over when it doesn't happen right away. You know what I mean? Like, because it's so easy. I was actually having this conversation last night. It's so easy. It's sad when you see a lot of people and you see it out here a lot because there isn't like quote unquote like a scene or a movement you know what i mean to the outside point of view there is if you're involved you know what mm-hmm, i mean mm-hmm. but and a lot of people get discouraged 
and they look at that as a uh, it's never gonna happen it's you actually, know what i mean yeah. the only time it's never gonna happen is if you stop you know what i mean like that's the only time i could be 60 years old and it, it wouldn't have and and i'm gonna keep doing it until it does it you know what i mean like 100%. because i believe yeah, yeah. if you don't believe like it's sh- it the work Reflex is what 100%, I'm getting at. Nah, 100%, you know what 100%. I mean? If you believe you're going 110 every day, I don't want to go do the things that I do. Cost of talking <laughs> shit, baby. Uh, I do shit, them bro. because I have to. Uh, you know what I mean? And shit. it feeds my soul. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I can't, like I, I would be more miserable if I wasn't doing it. I'm miserable a lot of the time because I'm so stressed out and whatever, but I'd be more miserable if I wasn't doing it. So it's like. Yo, shout out to Duce, man. Duce yeah, doing his yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, word. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, it's like, it's just really dedicating your life to that shit, bro. Like, it just is what it is. Like, it's not going to happen tomorrow. It might not happen tonight. It's a real dedication, yeah, bro. bro. It's, it's, a real like, it's a grind, for real. Like, and pe- people sacrifice different, bro. Yeah, exactly. You know Everybody's story is different, like we were saying before. 100%. Um, I fuck with that, bro. Salute on everything, my nigga, dog. You know, you, know you, you know I'm a supporter, bro. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Course, I, I fuck with your shit. Of course. Um... Recently... Hey now. Recently... Hey now, right? Can I get a damn hey now? Hey now. Right? This dude Ding. hasn't said one hey now yet. I gave you, I gave, I gave like three hey now. Not here. You did before, before we were recording. Yeah, bro, come on, man. Look, all right. So, Rock, Rockwood, Rockwood, the Rockwood. You do a good job, bro, selling tickets, my nigga. Yeah. I was gonna say that is a is a. Uh, I think that's a reflection of, you know, the content and how strong it's been. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, cause for real, for real, I've seen you multiple times really be on that grind of hustling tickets. Where like most artists, they want to have a show and they just want their tickets to kind of just magically, yeah. you know what I'm saying, go, you know what I mean, and have yeah. a sold out show. But I see you genuinely like hit the ground, bro. You yeah, really be hand to hand combat with it, my nigga. Like that shit is very, very important, bro. So tell people your thought process behind selling out a venue that, you know, all right. So for one, you had a venue, they canceled on you, what, like within the, within nine two days. weeks, nine, yeah, days, nine days, bro, days nine days before show. your show. And then, and then nine days, um, within nine days, you resell the new venue. Yeah, hundred. My tickets. first question is, what's the difference in capacity? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Pip, you know what I'm saying? Open up Put the hood, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open up the hood a little bit. So basically, the Rockwood, um, I had got a show but i've done other shows in the past for sure. you know what i mean like middle i've, east. You know I've headlined the middle east like three four times i've headlined sonya um i sold them out and there's a big difference you know what i mean like what i really want people to start doing out here is being self-sufficient you know what i mean yes, a sir. lot of people like just want to be put on shows a lot of people yes, feel like they're they're owed a show or owed something yes sir and that is not the case you know what i mean especially in a place like this where at the end of the day like we said before there is no real quote unquote motion or whatever you know what i mean like so it's like you need to create that motion we have all the colleges you could be going to colleges you could be That's promoting you could be doing all the shit i can't tell you how many people i've heard say oh we need to tap in with the college we need to tap in with the college and they I've don't been doing this 10 years bro and so right there you know what i mean so Basically, the Rockwood messaged me on Instagram at 11:30 at night. Shout out Rockwood! I'm saying whoever was up working on like April 30th, April 29th, whatever. Okay, some shit like that. Like right before May, the show was supposed to be on like May 9th. I think it happened May 9th. Still, oh, these are the people that fuck shit up. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. Take my salute. So they messaged me like an automated message, like we're closing our doors indefinitely tomorrow. I was like what tomorrow is crazy yeah i'm like what like so i hit up the dude that booked me for the event and he's like i haven't worked for the rockwood since the beginning of april this dude booked me on april 2nd so so that means what the day like we stopped emailing and you like left that's wild wild yeah so so they're sitting there promoting selling tickets and they knew they were gonna close though they already knew in advance that they were closing that's nasty and they didn't tell anybody that's nasty so i like this place the cantab lounge in in cambridge Mm -hmm. reached out to me they looked at this as a money grab you know what i mean they're like (laughs) shit they're like all these shows that they got booked are about to not be able to happen they want to do their show so i'm one of like the fewer people out here that can sell tickets you know what i mean like a a lot of them like so i was like all right i was very stressed out about it 
You know what I mean? I was like, damn, I'm like, this is like a fucked up scenario. Like, I don't know if I should do the show. Like, they said we could push it back to the end of the month. You know what I mean? So I talked to Josh. Shout out to Josh Schubach. That's my guy. He was running Phoenix for a while. Shout out, Josh. Um, and I had a conversation with him. He's living in L.A. now. And he was like, if there's anybody that can that can make this happen, it's you. It's the fucking loot, Josh. Yeah. Like he's, like, he's, like, he's like, you need to do it, bro. That's he's dope. like he's like the project is called thanks for nothing this is like the ultimate like thanks for nothing yeah. this is like the yeah, ultimate yeah. like sell Salute, that bitch out in brethren. nine days Salute, and, and fuck that other venue that fucked the whole shit and show like put that work so i'm like all right fuck it we're doing it so we start grinding 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 sold 100 tickets in nine days eight days uh i oversold it so so the rockwood holds 120 or 125 or some mm -hmm, shit mm -hmm. this place holds 100 uh, there was just so much going on. They did. It, they only wanted me to sell eighty, and I oversold. <laughs> Salute, man. Yeah, and Salute. then uh, nah, that's dope, Castle, bro. Yeah, yo, bro, that's really a skill that a lot of artists do not have, bro. And I mean, in terms of being able to sell tickets, my nigga, dog, isn't that one of the main ways that an artist can make bread? It's important, bro. You know what I, I made, I made a, a a good uh, a good little piece off of that. You know what I mean? And we're able to put that back into what we're doing. You 100%. know what I mean? It's like, it's something Me where- personally, I, I'm not an artist, bro. You know what where? I'm saying? So I've had to start an embroidery business. I've had to start a- Same concept though. You know what I'm saying? Very similar selling concept, Selling tickets, bro. but you're selling You know what I'm saying? This, it's just, you know what I mean? Just in yeah. another sense, bro. So, you know, that's the play that I've been trying to, you know, just really speak to other, you know, creators about, bro. But, you know, you're in a, you know, you're, you're in a dope spot, bro. Yeah. You're in a dope spot being able to um, create the tickets. Um, or sell the tickets, I should say. It's tough out here because I wish that there was more small venues. Like, that I've done big that shows. That people can build from, yeah, right? Like, yeah, like, I've done big shows. Like, I did. What's up with the lily pad, bro? Lily pad is small as shit, I, I get I know it, it is. But I did the lily pad, like, five years ago. It's a very good building spot, It's a very good building spot, Like, no though. offense to the lily pad. Not Shout nothing. out to the lily pad. It's tiny, but, Shout like, out to it's the a lily very pad. good building spot, This is the issue. This is the issue. So, the problem is, is that out here, a lot of people, it's like... It's very based off of what people think is worth going to. You deal with the whole perceptions and all you that know, for sure. You know, so it's like, if I'm doing a show, no offense to the lily pad. I love the concept of the lily pad. You know what I mean? It's great. Um, it's, I've been doing this too long. You know what I mean? Like, like it's like. Oh, you one of those. I'm not saying it like that. It's just like, realistically, like. The Middle East, you know what I mean? It's like, I've done the Middle East a lot of times. I don't, I wanted to find a new venue. You know what I mean? Right, because right. it was like, I've done it so many times. It's almost came to the point where it's played out, even though it's not. Mm. But people look at it they're like, oh, another show at the Middle East. You know what I mean? Like, they're not looking at, there needs to be a sign of growth of some sort. Even if it's not in numbers. Bro, you know, you're absolutely right, bro. Even I'm, if I'm it's not, not in numbers. That. 100%. That, that perception shit is right. Like, because like. You know, you've not been running Tesla Lab for two and a half years now. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. That's something that I'm dealing with. All right, right. but like, you know, I want to continue to make sure that this holds the value that it, it needs holds. To grow, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I want people to still feel like, yo, this is the this is the it thing to come do. You know what I mean? So how do I navigate these things? You know what I'm saying? Those those are real thoughts, bro. You feel me? Yeah. So, so it's tough, that. bro. It's like it's like I wish that there was more places out here. You know what I mean? The Rockwood was a great place for that. You know what I mean? It's 120 yeah. people, 125 people, great location in Fenway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like 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 great location. Um, but we don't have a lot of that. You know what I mean? We have most of the venues out here are big. We're a touring city. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we 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 do a lot of big shows. We're one of the highest grossing cities. Hundred percent. That's why niggas still come. Yeah. Here you know what I mean? Like because of colleges, because people want to go out and have fun. Like we have that, and that's why I hate the excuses that people make out here of like there's nothing going on. Da -da -da. It's like you are looking in the wrong place. Like like bro. there is every college they are dying to go get drunk and spend their money. They with you they 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 they're spending daddy and mommy's money at the college. They want to spend their money with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like nah, like bro. and they're not from here. No, nah, on they're top from of that, everywhere bro. else. You know what I mean? So so they're looking to get a little, you know what I'm saying? You know. Oh my god. So it's I just really want people to to start being more self-sufficient in that aspect of looking into doing shows. You know what I mean? Look to look to do some events. Um, nah, but um, I ain't gonna hold you though, bro. I do wanna um, kind of bring this in for a landing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cause not for nothing, um, I, I really feel like, you know, we've definitely touched on, um, you know, a, a lot of the updates. Um, we've touched on um, your ability to sell tickets, which is a very, 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 you know, uh, a lucrative, important skill for any artist, bro. Um, so, bro, I mean, 
what's next after the project bro w what can we uh you know kind of expect for the rest of 2024 and i guess i would kind of end it off with where could people find you bro for sure uh after the project we got uh a deluxe coming out we got a bunch of new music uh ready to go um aiming to do boston calling next year okay that's the goal. Yeah, Key got everybody on their fucking yeah, game. That's the goal. Yeah, Shout out Key. to Key for sure. Shout out to my guy Justin Clancy. Um, Justin, you did do your thing too. Yeah, you did. Um, thing. So just like really, really pushing for Cake that. Cake Swag was on there too. Yep. I, I just gotta yep. shout out the people no, from the sure, culture, but sure, I was for on sure, there. You know sure. what I'm saying? Um, Tori sure. Tori was on there too. You feel me? Um, I think one more time. Stephen. Oh yes, I'm um, Stephen the the. the I seen bro at the sound lab. It's all love. Hey Yo. now. Salute. <laughs> Salute to everybody. Yeah, that shout was out to on everybody just from nigga. here. No that was involved. Shit, bro. Just that bottom was line. That was I mean, dope. that's that very dope. fire. But now, nah, Castle, bro, where can people follow you, bro? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Bro. And, um, oh. and, and to end things off after you tell people to follow you, let them know when that show is one last time. That's a fact. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, Marky Picasso on Instagram, M A R K Y Picasso. Uh, and then on all streaming platforms, it's just C-A-S-O, Caso. Uh, I was about to ask, my nigga, like, how do you, nigga, Caso is like, it's a tough name to, to like, you know, kind of make sure that that's you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know. Because even when I went on Apple Music early, I was like. I know. It's tough, bro. It's like, just know that after this project comes out, that's gonna be the top one that, that that's at the top of the list. Fuck with it, I'm not upset. Shout out to The Orchard. Yeah, um, man. Shout out Jimmy, man, Jimmy. Yeah, shout out to Jimmy. Shout out to everybody in Atlanta, man. Niggas did that, Jimmy. Uh, did a lot of really good, a lot of good shit for me. They really believed in me and they helped me shape my sound a lot. Nah, bro, I'm, 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 I'm genuinely proud of you, bro, dog. You yeah, know, was down there, bro, at the sessions, you know what I'm saying? You know, you really holding your own, you know what I mean? My, my my big homies is putting you on to big homies I ain't met yet, nigga. Yeah, I'm over here. What the fuck going on? You know yeah, what I mean? bro. It's like, dope. It's a very so it's, good it's shit, a great bro. experience, bro. It's, it's very good dope. Shit, man. Travel, please. If you're a local artist, travel. Yeah, I mean, needed. just move around. Needed. Meet people. Needed. Um, but yeah, I got a uh, listening, a listening um event coming up on uh July uh June 11th. Okay. Um, that will be RSVP only, and then we have one on. June twelfth at uh, New Dia. So with my guy back Dallas. To back type shit? Yeah, oh, with dope. Dallas. Shout out to my guy Dallas. Um, shout out Dallas. Yeah, shout out to Dallas. God damn Dallas. Shout out to everybody out here just grinding, working. Don't stop. You know what I mean? It's cliche, but just work, work, work. Put in that extra. You might have worked a nine to five today, but do another couple hours at the crib. Man, you know what I mean? Just man, by nine. Just do it. You know what I mean? My bro. Hey now. Hey now. Let me get the fucking toast. Hey you know now. What I mean? We're gonna bring this. You gotta finish the shot though. You gotta do it. I, I, got I don't shot, care. Shot. I don't care. No, no, no. I care. I don't care. Just no, no, no. I care. I'm driving to Worcester, so you're not. So no, 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 no. Actually, don't. <laughs> the fuck? Don't. Just do it. Don't. Um, so yeah, bro. Uh, we gonna we gonna finish this off, bro. Um, my man Caso's in the building with hey me, now. man. Hey now. This is Music Discovery right here. My name is Noble. We are Museum TV. We are Boston's premier vlog exhibiting the culture stories. Like I said, I yes, am sir. an owner of a tenting business. If you need your car tenant, holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of mine. It's the summertime. I know you don't want niggas all up in your grill. Yeah. You know I'm saying if you a shorty, you don't want these niggas all up. In, you know what I'm saying? I already yeah. know. I know. I'm also an engineer you know over at, at Phoenix Down. Tap in with me. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but outside of that, look, I'm going to finish this off. Please tune in the next time. I'm going to have way more amazing stories coming to y'all all 2024. Um, we got new segments coming. Um, bro, y'all going to see the TV portion of this Museum TV shit. And that's a fact. Hey, now. Yeah, man. Once again, my name Noble. Holla at us. I'll see y'all next time, man. You can't tell me nothing. I'll stay down. You can't tell me nothing. I'll stay down for that coming.